Katy Perry just released a new video. I personally didn't know much about her work, but the last three songs have gotten my attention. Because they're layered with references, hidden messages, metaphors, word plays, symbols, and double entendres. In this video, I'm going to look at Katy Perry's storytelling techniques. This video is brought to you by premiumbeat.com, exclusive royalty-free music for film and video. Swiss, swish, bish. Swish, swish, bish. Swish, swish. I don't know how to say that word. Just look it up. Is Perry's third song from the new Witness album, a house-inspired electronic dance track, and as she says, an anti-bullying anthem. Director Dave Myers worked with Perry on Firework, which too was a celebration of the Misfit. Now that was seven years ago, and much has changed. While some interpret the song as a dissing of Taylor Swift, I won't get into it, in conjunction with the other two videos, I sense that Perry isn't the same, since, well... Let's just not go there either. Perry has never been shy to lace her music with messages of equal rights. But since the election, they have become a lot more subversive and more interesting. Now here are four storytelling techniques that I noticed. Heavy referencing of memes, pop and subculture. Perry has no problem to latch onto current trends. Critics will gladly come after her for her unoriginality or cultural appropriation. With Perry, the scrutiny is more intense because she's positioning herself as a quote-unquote woke artist. But honestly, I kind of like it, especially because she does give it her own spin, and it fits within the story. Her ragtag team of misfits include celebrities and social media phenomena who stand for anyone who won't be held back by peer pressure. The preceding lyric videos tend to also take advantage of current trends. For example, she got up-and-coming YouTuber Walking With Giants to do one of his mini-food installations for Chain To The Rhythm. Not only does she reference the social media culture, she also adopts their style. Hey guys, what up? It's your girl Laz. Coming at you. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Which is marked by hyper-editing. <laughs> Every shot and every cut is rapid to give us instant gratification. Nevertheless, Katie's videos maintain an overall classical story arc, which really is not a given for a music video. All three videos have multi-layered messaging. The thing about art means different things to different people. Whatever is going on with you blends with what you're feeling at the moment you're experiencing the video, and it might mean something different to you than to me. While one guy might think of her as a spokesperson of the Illuminati mocking us, others may think she's attempting to do the opposite. Both her lyrics and videos certainly offer enough clues for anyone to dig deeper and see this as more than just a pop song. I personally think it's just an artist expressing herself, with the ultimate goal to stay relevant. Katy Perry said, I can never control what they think, but I guess I can live my most authentic self. One of Katie's philosophers she lives by is on her Twitter page. In a conversation with Neil deGrasse Tyson, he picked up on that saying. The more that I learn, the more I realize I know nothing. Well, so what happens is as your the area of your knowledge grows, yeah. so too does the perimeter of your ignorance. <sighs> As Katy Perry grows as an artist, she strives to be more vulnerable by pushing the envelope on her storytelling. Get it together, Katy. She sees herself as a dork. The industry wants her to be pinup. She challenges the audience to be more than just a voyeur, to be an active witness of her work. I'd like to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, premiumbeat.com. Next time you need production music for your projects, go pay them a visit. They're a great source of royalty-free music. Thanks for watching.